You wanna add more power to your forehand where I'm gonna show you three drills that if you start doing today will add more power. So let's start off with drill number one. First of all, when we think about adding more power, the thing we really need to think about is how can we use the kinetic chain better? So what is the kinetic chain? It's how we use our body or basically use power from the ground and send it through our body out to our hands. And so one of the things that I can think could really help you understand how to do this and feel this is a medicine ball. Now this is a three pound medicine ball. I'll put a link in the description. It doesn't have to be anything special. You can use a rubber band for these, but I really love the medicine ball. And so the very first thing we want to understand is how to use our kinetic chain properly. Before we even think about this, I want you to really think about how would you punch somebody? I know you're not a violent person, but punching, I think, is a great way of thinking about the kinetic chain if you don't have one of these. So we're gonna put this down for a second. So if you're gonna punch somebody, are you gonna punch them like that? Yeah? No, you're not, because it's not gonna hurt them. I mean, like if they're family, relative, and you don't wanna hurt them, that, was, that might work. But if you wanna knock them out, what are you gonna do? Show me right now. You would draw back and then bam, hit them. Now, here's the important thing to understand what just happened there. First of all, let's think about a couple things. I drew back and guess what? I loaded my leg, okay? Because I need the ground force to push against to then drive my hip, shoulder, and then arm through the ball. When this happens, look what happens to my knee. It turns forward, my hip, okay? Turns forward and my shoulder turns forward because I need to deliver the force and it has a timing element. Meaning that I could do this, <laughs> it's not gonna have any power. I could, I could do this, not gonna have any power. You need all these things to work together. And this is why a medicine ball is a great way of teaching you to do this. So what I'm gonna do is have this medicine ball before we even work on power, it's just making sure that I can take the medicine ball back and toss it forward. This still resembles the action of punching, okay? So we're gonna start off really slow. One quick thing before we do any of these exercises, I am not a medical professional. These are the things I do to hit big forehands and I hope they'll help you out too. So I'm gonna start off nice and easy just to feel that rhythm and just rock. Because I'm on my back leg, rocking forward, and when I rock forward, you can see how my hips, shoulders, and uh, arms are facing forward. I'm sending the energy here. Now, let's get down to drill number one, which is very similar to what we just did. If we wanna train power and explosion, we need to do it. You can't train hitting the ball hard without hitting the ball hard, which means in this drill, you don't wanna do this. Because how fast I swing? Not that fast. This is also why you wanna be warmed up before you do this, because we need to accelerate. Now this is also, while we're only using like a three pound medicine ball, even a two pound medicine ball, you can do this with a couple balls stuck together. So what I'm gonna do is really quickly load and explode. And you can see how I'm going really fast, okay? Just like that. And the key markers is you can see how I'm using my weight here and shifting it here. Now, you're probably asking right now, how many of these do I need to do? I actually don't need to do that much. And this is when you see like pros on TV, kind of looks like, I'm not gonna lie, like they're like, they're not doing that much. They're not killing themselves. You don't wanna kill yourself when you're doing this and do like 30, because guess what? At rep repetition number 25, you're slowing down because you're tired. All these need to be fast. So you only need to do three to five and do five, three to five sets of these, okay? And you can actually do this every day. So if you have a medicine ball before you come out, warm up, do three to five sets, or three to five reps, and then do three to five sets of these. This is the first one, so great, medicine ball. The next exercise we're gonna do is use this plyo box. Now, it doesn't have to be fancy. You don't have to have or go out and buy a plyo box. You can use any type of situation where you're just above the ground. And all you wanna do is get used to stepping and exploding. This will create explosiveness in your legs. So if I step off and I'm gonna explode as fast as possible, okay, step off, explode as fast as possible. Now, what you can do to combine this explosion, because this explosion can also help us explode this way, is use the medicine ball. And what I'm gonna do is come down and drop it. So I'm gonna go And the key is, once you hit the ground, accelerate as fast as possible. Now, same principle, three to five reps, three to five sets. Don't kill yourself on this, because the last thing you wanna do is do this. Oh, I'm tired, oh. You just trained lack of explosion. So we have to make sure you, you should be pretty fresh with these. If you feel yourself getting tired, stop, okay? So I'm gonna go here. And that's the second exercise to really help you get your legs more explosive and build some strength so you can start really using your body weight, using the ground force and sending it through your hands. The next exercise we're gonna do is try to get some explosive strength in your abs and your core. Now, 
what we want to do with this, because we're thinking about our forehand, I'm right handed, I'm going this way. So I want to really focus on creating acceleration this way. It's similar to what we did with the wall, but the difference is we're really isolating more of my uh, trunk and my torso. So I'm going to go from here and go one, two, three, four, five. And then again, I do five uh, reps and then three to five sets of these. Again, make sure you're not killing yourself doing this because once you start slowing down, you're training yourself to be slow. You need to train yourself to be explosive. So again, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we're done. Now lastly, we need to hit some forehands. So how does this work with what we just did? What I recommend you doing is after you understand these exercises you can do, you integrate them with your practices. So like I have a ball machine and here's what I would do. I would start off with, let's say, the first one where I'm doing the medicine ball throws, okay? Then between the rep, I would come over to the ball machine and have that start and hit probably like 10 balls. I'm not trying to gas myself. I'm trying to work on accelerating and using my body to accelerate. Keys that I think are really important is that have that same idea that I'm using my back leg and pushing forward. This is different from using an open stance. If we want maximum power, what we want to do is be able to push our body weight forward and have rotation. So I'm going to use more of a neutral stance compared to if I was coiling up. It's the same difference. Just imagine if we're using that analogy of punching. If I punch you like this, yeah, I might hurt you a little bit. But if I load up and punch you like that, I'm going to get more force through. And that's why this is important. So have the ball machine go. I'll let the first one pass. And then again, I'm trying to get my body weight going. I'm just working on that quick acceleration through the ball. Now, really important as I'm doing this, I'm having this idea that I'm sending that ball. And what I mean by sending the ball is that instead of rotating all the way around here and have my power go that way, I'm rotating my force into the shot versus having it come all the way around. Now, here's one thing to think about. If I'm rotating it here, as my racket comes around, it'll pull my shoulder around here. But I want to make sure I send that energy for the, through the ball. So now I would do a different exercise or do the same one and then go back and hit a couple more balls. And so after that rep, I might come over here and do another exercise. So that's one, two, okay, three. Again, I'm not trying to gas myself. I need to make sure as I'm swinging, I have plenty of acceleration. So that's a little bit long. There we go. I'm trying to really use my legs to accelerate forward. You're going to miss a couple. The only way you can learn to hit the ball hard is hitting the ball hard. So make sure, one quick note, make sure you go warm up before you do any of these things because the last thing you want to do is do an exercise and it causes you to get injured and you can't play anymore. So hope this video serves you. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.